Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, so let's make some games. So this is the this is a, the beginning of a 3D tower defense game in Game Maker Studio 2.3 that I'm doing. Uh, just as a, a refresher from last time, this is what it looks like right now. I have a basically a, a, a game world and a 3D camera rendering. And this time I'm going to start putting some stuff in it, but first, and I can't believe I forgot to, to talk about this the first time, uh, the name of the project. I like to name my things after animals for whatever reason. This is Bombardier, which is a bug. I don't know if I like necessarily naming my code after a kind of bug, but the Bombardier beetle is a family of beetles that kind of sort of like to explode in the face of things that they don't like, or things that are trying to eat them, or things that possibly they are trying to eat. I don't know. I'm not a zoologist. And considering that this is a tower defense game, I, uh, I thought that was a little bit appropriate. So that's why this, uh, that's why this project is named Bombardier. Moving on, uh, let's see, what have I, uh, what have I written down here? Okay, so I'm going to need a couple, uh, a couple types. I'm going to be doing game data this week. Uh, let's, um, let me make a, a script, call it database. I will organize these better later on. And I'm going to make a few things. Function, I call it Faux data, and you need a constructor there, otherwise it's going to yell at me. And foes are going to have a couple parameters, some of which I may not use, uh, but I will I will leave them here just in case. First it's going to be HP. I will parameterize these. Um, actually, you know what? Name name should come first. Everything should have a name. Uh, there'll be HP. There'll be defense. I'll call, it, I'll call it def and mdef just so that I don't have to type that out every time. Um, defense and magic defense. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to ultimately be the direction that things are going in, but I think it'll be easier to add like defense versus magic defense now than try to squeeze them in later. Um, I, I'll give them a movement speed, the speed at which they advance along the track. Damage, uh, in other words, like what what happens when they when they hit the end of the track. Again, I don't know exactly the uh, the math that I'm going to settle on for 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 like throw stats and stuff, but it couldn't hurt. Damage could always just be one, or it could be infinite. And as soon as anything gets to the end of any track, you instantly you instantly game over. Uh, I'll give it a sprite. All right, that'll do for now. Name. There's been a couple updates since I tried this, but would Game Maker still give me trouble if I use the uh, the self to refer to my own variables versus like these or something? Let me try and uh, let me just try and do that. See if I can if I can do it. If I can, that'll be real nice. I'll just set all the parameters to zero for now. Uh, if this if this runs, that's great. I don't have to use those dumb underscores anymore, and it looks like it does. Okay, uh, that was an issue I was having. If if you see me, if you see me use those underscores in in, in uh, function arguments, or more commonly uh, constructors, and assign them to variables with the same name but without the uh, the underscore. That's why. It's because Game Maker used to complain about that. But it looks like that is not the case anymore. It looks like they have fixed that. Um, okay. Next. I guess I'll do tower data. So these are going to be the main. There I go with the, the the semicolons at the end of function definitions again. These are going to be the main types of data. There are probably going to be more later on. I'm planning on on having objects that can throw wrinkles and things, but for the most part, these are the important ones. I'm going to give them a 3D model. I'll, I'll no okay. I just I wrote down all the things that. Like all the pieces of data that 
frozen towers were likely to need in no particular order, and I should probably uh, order them in my brain, in my code right here. Uh, I'll give them a fire rate. Uh, I will give them a range. Damage. It's possible that, or it's it's extremely likely, I should say, that different tower types are going to have different like shot types, like a wizard tower versus a, a bomb tower or something like that, or kind of staples in tower defense games. I will hold off on that, though. All right, so I'll give them a, I'll give them these for now. Also, I'll just call it rape because I think uh, I think it should be fairly self-explanatory what that does with regards to towers and tower defense games. And I do like to have the names of variables and constructors be short so that you can actually see them all in the uh, in the code help. All right, so I, I, I mentioned shot type. And like I said with foes, it'll be easier to include these now and not need them than it will be to try and add them in later. So I'm just going to initialize that to zero. Was there anything else? No, there was not. All right. Uh, also, These will most likely be fields, like bit fields, binary fields, uh, if I decide to use them at all. But again, just in case. Hmm. Okay, that is that is all I've written down for for those data types. Okay, so I will I will give these actual names. Do I want to go with with like the theme of of insects, of arthropods. I hate arthropods. Given given the name of the project and that I just explained the name of the project, you would expect that like the towers, the player would be on the side of the bugs and you'd be fighting something else. But I really, uh, I don't want to make a game where I play as bugs. All right, well, I guess it can be like the bug invasion or something like that. Uh, so with that said, let's just populate these with a couple of values. I'm not going to put a great deal of thought into the uh, into the numbers right now. I won't worry about the sprite at all, in fact. So let's make a couple of these. What are some other bugs? I'll have to get more and more offensive. As, as they get stronger. Ants and pillbugs are fairly inoffensive, right? Non-threatening. Pillbugs are kind of nice. Woodlouse. Um, Roly-polies, depending on what kind, what part of the world you come from. I guess those can have like a point of defense or something because they roll up into a ball when they're scaled. When they're, when they're scared. Uh, what's another bug type? my entire code base. I just had to get that joke in there. I guess the obvious answer is like spiders or something, but I actually like spiders and I don't want to make them look bad. Oh, who cares? What are, uh, God. Because there's a million different types of spiders. There's a million different types of ants too, for that matter. I'll worry about like the specifics later. Spiders can have a point of magic defense. Also, I'll give, I'll give everything a little more HP than uh, than ants, I think. Those numbers are going to be adjusted later anyway. Speed. Everything has two speed. Whatever that means. I don't even know what that means at this point in time. And, uh... Millipedes. Those probably have, like, a ton of HP, but they're going to be slower. All right, that'll do for now. Uh, also, let me try and indent these things so that they're at least kind of on the uh, on the same, so that the the numbers are kind of aligned. 
There we go. Now we'll do towers. What are some what are some exciting tower types? I am uh, I am the opposite of the idea guy. Is the whole theme for this game going to be like on a on a on a very small insect like scale? So should I should I go with like a pebble shooter or something like that? I guess. The fire rate, should I say like one per second? The, the, the rates are gonna be in per seconds because that's the easiest to keep straight in my brain. Uh, I've seen some tower defense have the fire rate be listed in like seconds of cooldown, which I think is a little more confusing because then the smaller number is better than the higher number and it's usually the other way around when you're looking at stats in a game. Um, also, I feel like tower names are gonna be a bit longer so I will indent them more. The range. I'm probably going to make this like tiles, like a range of, of one tile, a range of two tiles. Let's give uh, let's give the, the basic tower a range of three tiles. Damage can be one. No, it should be two. Nah, one. As I said, I won't worry about the numbers for now. Damage. Do I have that in there twice? Looks like I do, okay. Uh, cost, I don't even know what I want, like, cost to be. Like, money, mana, magic, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, model. Will probably be a vertex buffer. It may be a, a structure containing a vertex buffer. I don't care. Um, other tower types. I like fire. Should it be like moths drawn towards a light or something? Um, all right, because I'm not creative, I'll just call it fire shooter again. And this can fire faster, but maybe do a, like, well, it can't do, it can't really do less damage. It, it can fire faster, but have a lower range. Can be the trade-off. All right, you know what? I will leave that as it is for now. Uh, if anybody, if anybody wants to like write in enemy types or or tower type ideas, uh, I will definitely look at those. I've I've like slotted in time somewhere in the middle of this of the series to uh, to just come up with a couple different like differences in kind, so that there's a, there's more than like two types of towers in the in the entire game. Okay, so uh, first I want to actually not have these scoped as local variables because I want them to uh, I want them to be accessible from elsewhere in the program. Uh, after that, um, uh, let's just print these out to see that they're being initialized, and I think I will end the video there. This video didn't have a ton of visual stuff in it, but. It's, uh, game design does be like that sometimes, as the kids these days say. So this is all the same as before. Everything still works. Uh, if I open up, if I expand this a little, can I, can I like control plus or something? No. Control scroll, no. Um, these are all being created correctly. Okay. I don't know, I don't know why I'm fixating on that for so long. It's, uh, I didn't really expect anything to be wrong with just a constructor or anything. Um, okay, I'm going to end this off here. Next video, what I want to do in next video, I want to load models. Oh, I want to load models from files. Get something, uh, get something interesting in the world. Okay, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games. I aim for two game development videos a week, which probably means one of these tower defense videos and one tutorial on various different things. I've got a Patreon, so if you want to contribute towards these things being made, links to that are in all the places that you'd expect, probably. If not, that's cool. Uh, the code for this is on GitHub. Link to that in the description also. I hope you all found this interesting and or useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Edward Hull, Indie Punch, and Zenith for supporting these videos. If you want your name in the credits and to force me to pronounce them out loud at the end of every video, head over to the Patreon page in the video description and join the fun.